Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox and we are back in After Effects, of course, for another graphics video tutorial. This time, I'm gonna show you my number one tip to make your animations better every time, 100% of the time, no doubt about it. So before we get started, I just wanna uh, let you know to go head over to my buddy's channel. It's His name is Xdon Studios. He also makes graphic tutorials. He's got a really cool art style, really cool color palette that he uses. And uh, yeah, he's up and coming. He's awesome. You will learn a ton from him. I know I have. So anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into After Effects. Okay guys, so basically what we have here is simply a circle just bouncing in between two keyframes. Constant velocity, um, no, nothing else really. It's, it's, it's very simple. And what I basically did was I just duplicated this layer uh, multiple times uh, and offsetted them by by you know five frames and then move them over in a position so you can see that we kind of have a little wave here and it just doesn't really look all that interesting and it, it looks like anyone could make this but one thing that you can do to make any animation better is open the graph editor please if you know nothing else about after effects please just take a look at the graph editor so again, I, I composed these down so that way all of so that way I didn't have to duplicate it uh, and mess with all the keyframes. So basically, I just have one layer here, just looping between um, these key these three frames. So it's just it's just on a loop setting. And if I select these these keyframes, um, you can notice that they're diamonds, which means that it's a linear fashion, meaning that the the speed in between the two the two points. Is linear it's constant speed it's like you're driving 100 miles an hour that's kind of boring what's cool is when you're driving on a racetrack hitting the curves and accelerating that's the cool part about race car driving it's not about hitting hitting a road going 200 miles an hour for five hours that's not fun so what you do is you come here and open the graph editor now I use this motion toolbox over here you can get it at mountmograph.com it is 100% unnecessary but it definitely makes the graph editor um, kind of obsolete in a, in most senses and it kind of just simplifies it into some sliders but if you don't have that you could easily open up the graph editor it's always here and it's available for everyone so if you select these you notice that the speed is constant at 500 pixels per second across the board so it's just continuously going continuously going repeated on forever um, but if you click on them you notice that there's these little bezier handles if you don't have those bezier handles you could just select these and come over here and you have easy ease, you have easy in and easy out. So basically what these do is this will, will make it ease up to speed and then ease back to zero. Ease up to speed and ease back to zero. Um, let's, uh, let's revert back. Um, easy in will basically make it so it kind of, is, it's going very quick, but then it eases into its final position. Um, obviously just like its name suggests, so just reverting back, um, control Z, um, easy out is basically the opposite. So it slowly leaves its position down to the keyframe um, and now it kind of looks like this. So uh, that in itself is not very exciting, right? You'll say, Mike, that doesn't really look that much better. But here's the thing, if you choose easy, if you choose easy ease, you can actually grab these Bezier handles and do some pretty cool stuff with them. So if we just drag these in like this, now we have now we have this ball kind of falling up and down and kind of like snapping and almost it just looks much more interesting and take a look at what happens when we come back to this composition what we get that looks a hundred times more interesting and the great part is is that you could bounce in here select these keyframes and mess with mess with the the graph and kind of see what 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 you get um, but overall that looks 100 times better than simply just having them bounce between two frames at the same constant speed so let's go ahead and take a look at one more example okay here we are in our second example and in this one we just have these lines that basically um, scale out to make something that looks like that again what i did was i just pre-compose these layers so I could just edit this one shape layer and it will affect all of these. So let's again jump into the graph editor and make something that doesn't look that bad. So um, 
First thing, we open up the graph editor, and again, we're, we're seen with these very boxy curves, which I don't even know if you can call a box a curve, but a box is not pretty, a curve is pretty. That's all you need to know. So um, there's a speed graph and a value graph. Again, um, we can mess with the value graph. And what I wanna do, the first thing I wanna do is obviously add some easy easing. So now I get these nice Bezier handles. But one thing that's cool is you could actually make this overshoot. So what this basically means is that in the X direction that it's, or in the, the X direction that it's scaling, it will scale to 100% and actually go above 100% and then bounce back to 100%. So you can see what that looks like. Now it's very rough and it doesn't look um, very kinetic. It, it does look kind of robotic still. Um, but we can again mess with this Bezier handle and see if that gives us something that looks better. We could we can mess with all kinds of different things here and see what gives us a a good um, a good outcome. But the truth is is that we actually need more keyframes. So um, if you just come here again, you notice that they're not diamonds anymore because they are easing. I'm just going to come here and just set another keyframe and see what kind of options that allows us to now use. So that keyframe that I created, by the way, it will have the same properties as this last keyframe because there was nothing changed, right? So it's still 125 and 125. Um, but when we jump back into the graph editor, you notice something um, is, is different here. We now have, uh, I'm just gonna delete that. I'm just gonna bring this down and bring this down. Basically what that does is it just totally messes up, uh, totally messes up what we could see. So now we're back at, at, the, at the square look that we were at before. And now we can start messing with this. So I'm just going to, um, Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna now mess with these. So I'm gonna start with a easy ease. And so you see here, I have one keyframe, two keyframes, three keyframes. There's no scaling obviously between those two keyframes because I said they were the same, but we do now have our Bezier handles. So now this opens up a world of possibilities. Um, I could drag these down. So it's actually, um, so it scales up and overshoots. So this is an overshoot again. Um, this is, we are looking at a speed graph. So this is actually reverse speed, right? So it's speed is linear and then it's reverse speeding back. So that's basically what we're doing right here. Um, but what you could easily do with this is now make this, uh, make this kind of have a little bit of a bounce and then go to zero. So we can take a look what that looks like. And you can see there that it's scaling. It's at max, max speed. And then it actually overshoots. That is where it needs to be. But it, well, it doesn't over, it's not overshooting quite yet. It, it's going full speed. And then it starts reversing speed. And then it increases speed again. And then it's, then it's zero. So we can come in here and we can mess with these until we get something that looks pretty good. So obviously all of these, all of these graphs kind of, you know, bring something a little bit different and you'll just have to see, I, I tend to not like it to be so extreme, but uh, it just depends on, on what you're trying to do. Take a look and see what that looks like. And that looks that looks pretty good right there. So again, it's kind of a nice wave. That's obviously a good sign because it's not square. And now we could see that it definitely has a lot more character to the animation. And it's uh, it's just it's just better in, in almost every single way. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Be sure to check out Extron's uh, graphics tutorials. Link down in the description. And anyways, guys, thanks for watching.